everyone and welcome back to another cottage diaries which we're obviously not in the cottage but i felt like it kind of made it sense it feel quite like cottage diaries yeah we're like also in basically a cottage, a cottage you yeah. will have seen the room just now which is absolutely amazing and so i might nice. kind of do a quick walking tour of the room because i feel yeah. like it deserves a double tour yeah, even so though nice. yeah i've shown some of those details it's one of the nicest rooms we've stayed at for a while i think yeah. this and the ham yard <coughs> Sorry, the, the top two rooms of yeah. the year, do you think? Yeah, of the year, definitely. Yeah, but we've stayed in It's like different hotels. It's funny with hotels because they're kind of different vibes for different. Like yeah. the Dalesford hotels that we've stayed in have been really like our taste, for, taste for like what we would live in. Yeah. And then like the Ham Yard was really nice for like a hotel, a hotel in or London. Or the Franklin as the well. Franklin. Really nice for a London hotel. But. We are here, very happy. We're staying here. We've been invited actually f from Dalesford to stay in the new hotel and we're going to Dalesford tomorrow. So thought we would kind of do a dedicated Cotswold vlog. We'll show you around Dalesford tomorrow, give you yeah. like a full tour of everything going on. And then we're having a three quarter lunch. Is it a, mi a oh, maker's yes. market, a farmer's market? So it's meant to be like around their produce and what, yeah. like their hero produce or something, isn't it? Yeah, so that would be really, really cool. Nice. And we're having dinner this evening downstairs, which is just so nice. It's mm. literally opened this week, so we, could be the first people the to press, stay yeah. in the room. So I'll quickly show you now. It feels funny because my cottage diaries are normally not filmed on even on this camera. camera yeah. yeah, which is funny. But this is kind of how the room flows together. So there's the lovely fort poster bed there. And then this message as well. Dear Toby, we hope you enjoy it. Stay with us, Nathan. And then... There's a lovely open fire with a beautiful picture above. All of these lamps are really nice. I also love, love, love this bedspread. I've just been taking it off the bed, but I think I'm going to order one of those from Toast. And then there's a wardrobe area here. And then a bathroom as well, which has a lovely freestanding bath which will be beautiful later. And then a sink area and a shower as well. So a really, really lovely room. If you're visiting the Cotswolds and looking for somewhere to stay, I mean, from what I've seen so far, I can fully recommend it. And we already, I know, will be booking and coming back here, won't we, Mikey? Yeah. Imagine this for a nice Christmas like staycation for, like two nights. You could almost do um, a tour of the Dalesford hotels because they're all so nice and it's nice because this also feels like a slightly different vibe. Di di vibe to the wild rabbit. Yeah, and the fox. But like very similar but very different. Do yeah, you know I mean? yeah, I think so. I would say weirdly, even though you've you guys have just seen the tour and. It probably looks very kind of neutral. I would actually say this feels slightly more like arts and crafts yeah, it's movement. Like a bit more playful. Yeah, it has a yellow and white checkerboard floor just painted 
floorboards which is quite a nice idea if you're renovating your house and you have old floorboards and want to add kind of some depth and pattern um but yeah it has like details like i've noticed the cushions obviously have like some blue and some pattern in and then the lampshades have a pop of red the kind of trim of the bed linen and the curtains is is like slightly brown and it has a lot of different colours which is I think particularly inspiring because we're trying to kind of do that in our house aren't yeah. we and it's, it's coming to somewhere like Dalesford I think really shows me that you don't need to go like ultra modern or like really colourful. Yeah, go really overly colourful. You can do it in a way that feels like tasteful and hopefully that's something you've kind of seen us do in our home as well. We tried to do, but yeah, definitely even being here for like 10 minutes has inspired me yeah, to like make a few exactly. subtle changes, which is nice. So anyway, I'm not going to ramble on because I've already been chatting to you for a long time, but we are going to go and try and have a drink downstairs, yeah, maybe a bit so. of food and we'll catch up with you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, it's obviously the next morning, obviously. we've had a really nice breakfast haven't we at... It was so nice. What was it called? The Bell? The Bell. The Bell. Was it just the Bell and Shalbury? I think so, yeah. Yeah, which was really lovely and dinner last night was great as well, yeah, I don't so know if I <coughs> vlogged anything. My voice went there. <laughs> Did that last time we were chatting in the yeah, as well. Yeah, recovering. <laughs> Yeah, we, I don't know if I picked up the camera after dinner, but it was really, really good. Yeah, the food was really nice. And yeah. The staff were all really friendly. And we also broke our alcohol ban, mm. which I mean was kind of intentional. It wasn't that. It wasn't, we didn't drink that else. No, we had a bottle, a of, bottle wine. of wine with dinner. But yeah, it was super nice. I really, really do recommend going. Yeah. And the bed yeah. was so comfy. Oh. You slept so well. Honestly, like the first time I've slept properly in a long, long time. Yeah. So that was really good. And now we've come to Barford, which we've only been to once before. So looking forward to having another good look around and seeing what's new for autumn. And it's a really sunny day. Yeah, it's such a nice day. It's like, it looks a bit dark in it. Well, no, no, you can see the sun in there. See the sun coming in on my yeah, face. Yeah, but it's it's such a nice day. Yeah, so we've really lucked out, which is great. Feeling excited for Dale's yeah. bed, which will be nice. And yeah, we just also drove around a new build, like a state. Yeah. Because I don't right, know, we drove, drove past and we we're like, oh, that looks nice. Yeah. And it felt like really like cute. And yeah, and they were like nicely done. Like they were all Cotswold style. Yeah, so, very nice. Yeah, just had a little mooch over there, so never know. Potentially opened up a new place we could live. God, not another one. Not another one, honestly. <laughs> every week we're like, oh, we could live there, we could live yeah. there. Yeah, anyway, let's go to Burford. We've just come into this hut, what's it called? Hut, yeah. hut smith or something. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I don't know how well you'll be able to yeah, see. Yeah, the lighting's but... quite dark. Is that something you could sleep? Looks like it. Yeah, just like a really tight little... But it's really cute. It's like got a little desk area, sofa area, and then over on this side, if the lighting's good enough, there's like a little no, kitchenette no. type thing. The outside is really nice as well. There's the outside. So cool. It's really pretty as well. It'd look nice in a garden. Yeah, really nice. These baskets are really nice. And they're only. 17 pounds. I'm really big. That is nice. 725, I think that's. Yeah, for an original. I always say 
invest in your artwork. I do think art's a really good investment because yeah. if you love it as well, you'll keep Take it. Take everywhere. And it also will very clearly like define your style of interior. So yeah. Like you'll use it as like, like inspiration an yeah. piece for the scheme, which is good. Yeah, those are nice. They're really heavy. And cool you think though. it was like wood? Yeah, like, I would have thought paper mache yeah. from afar. But like, even for that, you'd think it was pretty light, but... Well, we have got a weight. 20 pounds, not too bad, really. So. No, it feels very... That's nice on the check Like, Yeah, there's so many nice things here. We were just saying that it's really nice that this actually feels like a proper garden centre yeah. rather than like somewhere, I love it, but like Dales, it's very curated. Yeah, it's like less curated here. There's a lot of different... It's nice, you feel like you could come here with like yeah. your mum, your anyone. Your nan, your friend. <laughs> yeah, it is though, but you, and you would all like stuff. There's like something like, for everyone. It's not just one style. Like, and there's also a lot of different like neutrals, brands. Colourful, yeah. like different fragrances. There's like something for everyone, which is really nice. These are also really cute, Mikey spotted. I just thought they were really cute, it's like a little toothbrush holder or something. And yeah. they're only £7, seven pounds. and then the bigger one down here is £10, which is really cute. And yeah. they have it in like a green with a fern pattern as well. It's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing the housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> Green hat. What are they called? Mm. I was going to say dream. I had it in my head just now. Anyway, it's just a mini What's one. The word? Don't know. Something that you like grow plants in outside, like a small greenhouse. No, or you could have them inside. What's the word? Geranium. No, that's the plant. Terranium. Terranium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quite expensive. It's about 2,300, but it's very pretty, so it's if nice. you had the money and the space, and the space, then it would be nice. Really Can like you see these, that? yeah. Yeah. Like copper. Really pretty. Arr. King Triton. <laughs> Toby's been looking for espresso mugs for ages, and these are really cute. They're £8.50 with a little saucer. We're just looking at these pots and I just think they're actually really good value because you get the pot and all the plants and it's all done for you. And that one's £65 and it's quite big. And then they also do these little ones here, like that one's £45 and it's really cute and well done. I also think it's one of those things you could definitely get it. You know that you could probably make it for less, but it would only probably be like five or six yeah. pounds less. So, and also if you're like us, we're not that good at gardening, and to have it like all Ready done up. for you and it like looks yeah. really pretty, it's like really nice. Well. Yeah, like that's really nice. Have it all for me. Three, two, five. That is really big as well. Like, yeah, that is good. And those baskets are always expensive, so yeah get the basket with it yeah if you think like when i used to work in nature you know some oh of those God, baskets so were like more yeah. than that on yeah their own, so it's not bad i like these pumpkins this one is 69 carbon the price <laughs> which isn't actually too bad because it's actually really big and also imagine the sweets you could put in there yeah quite good for chocolates and stuff mm. isn't it? i also think that's really nice don't you Oh yeah, that's really cute. How much is that? 85. Oh, that's really nice. What would you put in that? Flowers. Put a, oh, like, a like something a to hold it in, yeah. Or something, or dried. It's nice. Yeah. I've just spotted these slippers and I absolutely love warm slippers because my feet get so cold in the winter. Aren't they so cute? They're only £30, which isn't too bad. So pretty in here. Yeah. Toby's be thinking about doing a bit of hops over yeah. Christmas, aren't you? Yeah, maybe more autumn. Autumn. Yeah, like season. sooner and then keep it through winter. Yeah. We're going pottery painting tomorrow and we're trying to find something easy that Mikey can replicate. <laughs> Not very good, so that's... I mean, it would still look no way near as good as that, but maybe I could give that a go. It's cute, isn't it? Really cute. £75. I think that's nice. Would that last? 
It's just like dry, doesn't it? Yeah. It lasts as long as you want. Really nice. It's nice. It's kind of the vibe I heard it here first that I'm going for for Christmas this year. It's so it's like dried meats and fresh things. <laughs> I don't always really like the painted dresses, don't you? Yeah, I really like it. So it's very good. Yeah. They look really nice with like the squashes and stuff on yeah. the table as well. They're really cute. How yeah. much are they? Ten, Ten pounds. pounds. Yeah, really cute too bad, for like especially, autumn. Especially if you only get like two a couple, yeah. Yeah, like for nice intimate dinners. I think they're really nice. Yeah, really cute. Yeah. Like yeah, that's colors. a really nice throw. Like yellow and peach. Colours, some people would say they're not colours, maybe. <laughs> I think these are really nice, nice garden set. Yeah, it's nice. Lovely pears. <laughs> what a lovely pear. This would be such a nice place for a little private lunch. Yeah. Or a wedding ceremony. <laughs> We're going to renew our vows. <laughs> Hi, um, anyone from Dalesford watching, please can we renew our vows? Get married here. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, really pretty. Hello, beautiful doggy. Hello. Oh my god, your head is huge. <laughs> That's not very nice. It's really big. <laughs> Oh, compared to our compared little to our dogs, dogs. Like, our dog is like the size of this dog's head. So cute. Is it a golden retriever? Labrador. I don't know the difference. Less gold. It does have like shorter hair. It could be a sheared golden retriever. <laughs> Such a nice setting for lunch. It's just like in the middle of where all of the produce comes from. Look, there's a farmer or a I don't know what would you keep up something. No, you can see where everything is, and then we're in this teepee, which we'll try and show you as much as we can. And then there's a lovely dog just led outside. Sometimes I think oh, it'll be so nice to have a big dog, and then I think yeah. oh, I couldn't pick it up and it started barking at people because our dog seems to just do that. <laughs> yeah, but big dogs are normally nicer tempered <laughs> generally. I don't think I'd be used to a friendly dog. Like, imagine no. if you just did that. Yeah. I think he would be fine like here if nothing was going on, like he would just he lie, just do that. he wouldn't just lie down, he'd run around, like zoomies. <laughs> this is our menu, which looks lovely. Although what can I not have? Toby can't have the chicken. Toby can't have the chicken. <laughs> Everything else Toby can have. Well, I can't actually eat potatoes and I can't eat mushrooms, but we move. This is our starter, which is a courgette galette with semi-dried tomatoes, Baywell cheese, rocket, and spicy tomato dressing. So it's a few days later now, and we're back home in the cottage, as you'll see. I can't actually remember what the last thing was. we were last doing, but it was a couple of days ago now, and we came back from the Cotswolds and Dalesford and we went out with Mikey's parents and the lunch was really nice, wasn't it? I don't yeah, it know if really we spoke nice. about that. We felt you, you like vlogged a bit of it, didn't you? I think I vlogged, yeah, some like, of it, like, but yeah, the food was really good. Annoyingly, I couldn't eat the main because it was yeah. not vegetarian or... You can have all the sides. You can have the sides, but that was really nice. And we bought a few things from Dalesford and Burford as well, so thought we would kind of go through all of those to round this video off, but it was just such a nice few days. Yeah, it was a nice little reset. In the Cotswolds, and I think we said this on the video already, but it's definitely like so our style. And mm. I actually said to you, didn't I, whilst we were away, I think I get really in my own head, like, is this my style or is it this? Or is it obviously, yeah. it's really easy to love so many different places and vibes, especially when you maybe struggle to like focus on one thing yeah but yeah it was really nice going and feeling again like this is very much our vibe yeah, and definitely. i am like being very authentic with like my yeah. taste and stuff so yeah that was lovely but thought i'd show you what we got do you want to start with burford you yeah we actually didn't get anything not too much too. someone actually commented on our last vlog saying because we opened it but well, i said welcome to our youtube channel and they said our oh, youtube channel 
Can we speak about that? Maybe in the video. Maybe. Maybe. So does it go by your YouTube channel? And I said no. I don't know because I don't really edit the videos too often anymore. Mikey does a lot of it, so I don't actually always watch the videos. Yeah. So hopefully I still come across okay. If everyone I always give you a bad edit and I look really nice. <laughs> if everyone starts hating me, I'll know why. <laughs> we got this from oh, Bird, yeah. Bird, which there you go. It's actually like pear liqueur, isn't it? Yeah, should we have a little sniff? But it, it it's it, um, just like a, it says handcrafted and family company. Handicraft and family company. It says serve chilled or with champagne. And we just thought that was, that looked nice, intriguing. Never had pear liqueur before. Probably have unknowingly in a cocktail yeah, or something. Yeah, but never, never at home anyway. Way. You have to, yeah, I'm doing it right, I think. Like lift that. Yeah, lift that. You lift, no, no. Yeah, but that's the way you do it, isn't <laughs> it? You lift it there. Yeah, yeah, but it's too, like, I used to have a biscuit tin that was like this when I was young, and it... Now, we thought we might have a liqueur, we'll probably smash it. How'd you do it? Here it's that way. Huh? Yeah, that's locking it. I did do oh, it right. Oh, it was open, now you just need to pull it out. Yeah, but it's... Oh, the hell. We were so easy. <laughs> we were complicating <laughs> it. It smells very strong. I can't actually really smell it, I just smell alcohol. Should we have a taste? Yeah, maybe. We're actually trying to cut down our drinking, so I don't know why we bought this, to be honest, but... Well, it's... It's not bloody hell. Well, it's not that drunk. Man. <laughs> it's tiny, it just sounded like a big plug. Oh, that's really nice. Is it really strong? No, it's nice. It smells like... Mm, it's pure really good. alcohol. You actually aren't so good at shots as me. Oh, that is nice. Nice. That will be nice with champagne. If we can find it online, we will link it down below. Poor William Fisselier, Fisselier? Product of France. Nice. Lovely. So that's the first thing that we got. Not obviously like that yeah. home related, but people keep saying to me actually, they'd like to see more like lifestyle and we're gonna struggle like, with this bottle. Yeah, do you want me to? I think they've actually designed that a bit badly. It's obviously why it was so hard to get out. Yeah, it's really tight. Yeah. At least you know it's not gonna spill. Yeah, it's very watertight, so <laughs> it's cute because it's got a little pen. On it. Yeah, I like that. I just thought it's it was nice. a nice little touch. <laughs> And then from Dalesford, we were actually in our room. We were very kindly given a Dalesford jam or, oh yeah, it's blackberry cherry and slow gin jam. So looking forward to trying that. And also this glass, which says bell, ring my bell. <laughs> bell ring, bell my ring, <laughs> which is really cute. And they also gave us a tote bag, which was super nice. I don't know where. Yeah, I love the tote bag. Actually which is. is really funny because I was saying, just before we got there, that I wanted to get a like a tote bag. tote bag thing. So yeah. I don't know where it is. See if you can find it. I'll start opening some of the other things that we picked up. It's here. The bell. It says the bell. And it's nice because around the hotel or the pub, they were using a colour like everywhere, weren't they? Yeah, like a, which we also have quite a lot of in yeah. like our wardrobe. So you can see it feels like, really like these. Yeah. Quite a few things, so that's really nice. That'd be nice over autumn. Yeah, really nice. And then from Dalesford, we've actually wanted something like this for a little while now. Yeah. So we've got two of the glasses, because basically, I've said this before in videos, and I will say it again, I'm sure, but we're trying to get things that are really practical and that we want to use. Like, not things that you just, like, save for guests yeah. or for your best, but things that will improve everyday living. Yeah. And every morning we have a, like, vitamin C and zinc Barocca type thing. And uh, the glasses we have are either too small or yeah. too big. We've got, like, massive ones or yeah. tiny ones. And if you have the tiny ones, it's really, really strong. <laughs> And if you have the massive ones, it's really weak. So Obviously, you could quite... fill, a, fill the glass up less. Well, but... yeah, but it just feels like you're meant to be having like a massive co a cocktail, yeah, like drink mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. yeah. But we saw these and thought they were actually the perfect size. So if I compare them to like those, it's like a good. Yeah. Or these. And then the big ones. 
so it's like a very nice like medium yeah, this is really big it's like the size of my head yeah this is a perfect <laughs> size so we got two of those they were 16 pounds each so they're actually quite expensive and we thought they would literally only be used by us every yeah. morning so we didn't need to get <laughs> any more two. Um, and we got the white rim because we thought if all else fails they're quite expensive and we want something that suits every kind of yeah. interior and is neutral so we got two of those which i'll actually unbox and just pop on the shelf yeah now i need to find somewhere for those other antique mugs to go because i think it looks really heavy with all of the mugs i really like those antique mugs though yeah they're really nice but i just think it looks like a bit heavy and like Mm. I think these are really nice there and those could add a nice like pop somewhere else yeah. so maybe like by the coffee machine or something would be yeah. nice but like this could be actually good for like affogato <laughs> and stuff Are they want to put ice cream in them? No, ah, to put just yeah. some espresso in and... Ah. Ziggy! Oh, it's really sunny all of a sudden <laughs> It's crawled under the sofa As always As always So we've got those glasses then we also well mikey got these slippers which i'm presuming are made with the wool on side Probably. they seem very like handmade which is really nice they're in like a gray color and they sell them in different colors for Actually, i haven't tried them on yet i made toby try them on for me i'm a sucker for slippers yeah i'm literally Wearing, wearing a pair right now but i'm wearing green first jason but i think yeah these were 30 pounds I'm just gonna try them on. Oh, they're really nice. Oh, they're really spongy. Yeah, they're kind of like socks. Yeah, like socks. So they're 30 pounds. I don't know if they're sold online, but if they are, we'll leave them linked down below. But I just thought really they would be good because my slippers now are kind of like Ugg boots. Yeah. They've got like a proper sole on them. They're not very good for like, to Yeah, like if stuff. you're wearing them on the sofa, it doesn't, it feels like you're wearing shoes. So those are more yeah. kind of like socks. Yeah, good for like sitting on the really bed nice. or more like soft furniture. Yeah. You shouldn't put your shoes on. The they're not shoes, they're socks. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one was a bit of a whim because it was quite expensive, but my logic here is I cook obviously all the time, you guys will know, especially in this Cottage Diary series. I feel like I'm You're cooking a lot, now. always cooking. And I use a Joseph Joseph chopping board that I've had since well, since we moved in here four I years, think. Yeah, maybe about four years four years and I was also a meat eater yeah then, it's like and a carving board isn't it yeah it's for it's so that it like catches all the meat juices and stuff and I can't think of anything I would chop on there that would just be juicy <laughs> that would be juicy now um and so I wanted to get a nice little one that's really practical and that I can just keep on the side and looks nice and I was thinking about just getting a really cheap one but I just know I wouldn't value it like I know myself and I know I wouldn't value it in the same like, way leave it on the side which all is the time to be if you to use it so I decided to invest in this lovely like solid I'm guessing oak Chopping board, it actually matches yeah. the ceiling really yeah. well, doesn't it? Yeah, that actually it's worked like out well. perfect. And the shelves there. Yeah. So that actually worked out quite well. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, which, it, I mean, it wasn't crazy expensive. It was £85, which I know a lot of people would think is a lot for a chopping board. But I kind of, when I was weighing up whether to get it, because I'm trying to be really good at not bringing too much into our house that won't serve a purpose long term. Yeah. But I figured that it's something I'm going to use every day. I really love cooking, so it's a really good tool for cooking. Yeah, and but also we were, you can stay out it's one side. of those things, you could actually have it as like a decorative yeah. piece, because it is really nice, but when we bought it, we were like, you have to use it. Yeah, like I want to use- Buy so many chopping boards just to like display, display them, which is really nice. I think it's nice because you'll see in the background behind my kit, I've got like an antique chopping board there, and also one from Osborne Interiors there. And that's a proper, which like they're dec both decorative. Decorative, like maybe the antique one I would use to serve things on with yeah. tissues and stuff, because it's so worn already, but, they're both really like lovely expensive pieces that I want to keep nice. Um, whereas this, I want it to get knife marks. I want to like batter it, it a bit and I don't care. And anything. I can scrub it every like few months properly to clean it. And yeah. yeah, I just thought that was really good. And someone told me that wooden chopping boards are actually a lot more antibacterial than plastic. Like they hold less bacteria or something or naturally have antibacterial quality so yeah i thought that was good it's really simple plain it's got the dalesford logo there but i'll have it 
flipped the other way probably. And yeah, really happy with that one. It was a bit of a last minute. We were yeah, actually just saw that and we're like, on the way out. Why not? About to leave. And then we got one more big thing, which we've we've seen them there for a long time. Yeah. Haven't we? I'm actually so glad we got this one. Yeah, it looks well. really good enough. Like it works, but. We decided to treat Stormy or Ziggy, or both of them, to a dog bed. And we went for this one. The brand is Oyoi, Oyoi Zoo. Oyoi Zoo. <laughs> and it's just a really simple, like, cushion yeah. dog bed, which Stormy and Ziggy both lie on cushions whenever we yeah. put them on the floor. So we thought they'll probably quite like that, Stormy in particular. And it's also really like practical. You can. It's got a handle, so if you like, when you want to move it, or we want to, they go to our parents yeah. quite a lot. It's just easy to take. Yeah, exactly. And it was sixty-five pounds, which I thought was quite a good price for the size. Like yeah. you can kind of see compared yeah, to me, beds are expensive. it's quite big. Yeah, some of them in yeah. Dalesford as well were like three hundred quid. So You're not we worth thought, that. Yeah, not worth that, honey. She's just sat here. But um, I also really liked the. Yes. Hello. Do you like your new dog bed? I'm gonna put her on it. She'll be like, I'm terrified. Good girl. There she is. Just carrying her around like Rachel carries around her Sphinx cat. Yeah. <laughs> Good girly. <laughs> yeah, I actually really like the colour as well and think that it looks a lot bluer on camera. Do you think? Yeah, well I, I, you were just saying it was grey and I said it was blue. It is blue, but it's it, like a washed grey blue. Yeah. It's whereas, like almost navy has been ran through the wash like a hundred times. times. Yeah. It's very faded, which, which is nice. It is nice. I think it like complements all of the colours we have right now especially, so. It's just yeah. like not fussy. Yeah, really happy with that. And also our new footstool for the dressing room is going to be, well it is a blue stripe, which hopefully is arriving in the next couple of weeks. Yes. It's a blue stripe, so it should kind of tie in with that a little bit. And then, is there anything else that we've got? Else, everything the, from Dales Dalesford Wood. or Burford, like Cotswoldsy vibes, because we were in London. Will this one be before London or after London? Probably after. So, so you would have already seen what we bought from London, but yeah. they were all in the same kind of trip. So yeah, and we also, which I mean, I'll include in this part rather than the London, because we haven't actually filmed the London bit yet. So <laughs> what you will have already seen, we haven't filmed, but we, I commissioned a new painting from my friend and artist friend Zarifa who I'll leave her website linked down below because she is so good and basically she was trying to get the piece done for a shoot we've got in the cottage and it worked out that our hotel we were staying at was like half an hour from where she lived so she dropped it there when we were out That's at so a meeting which was really good because we came back to reception and it was just there waiting yeah. for us so I've unpackaged that and thought I'd show you now I'll show you it properly in the position in like my next cottage diaries but you might need to move out of the way a bit like this it's big, so she's like signed all of the back, which is really lovely. But here it is. So you might remember in one of my last cottage diaries, maybe like two or three weeks ago, I was trying to decide what to put above that console table. And this is the piece that we've, I mean, it's really oversaturated here because of the lighting is <laughs> really bright in the kitchen, but You'll see it properly in the space. It looks perfect there. And she's really pulled out the tones from the room and from this room as well. And a lot of the like wood textures and colors. And yeah, I absolutely love it. And it looks perfect, doesn't it, in the space? It looks really good. So yeah, we're really happy with what that adds. Yeah, it looks really good there. To the room. I just need to hang it up now, Yeah. basically, which I will do this week. So. Mm -hmm. Very happy with that, but that was pretty much everything we got, but it was a really, really lovely trip to rest, yeah. relax, and also just do a lot of what we love, which is basically nice shopping. Yeah, and basically. And to get, like, re-inspired, like, yeah. staying at the Bell was so nice. really kind of inspiring, but also kind of, like, reaffirming that we love yeah. our own house, because it was a similar kind of vibe to our house. Like, yeah. we were in the reception, and I was saying how much I love the colours of... They had like 
chocolate skirting boards with yeah. like a pla lime plaster wall, which is really similar to what we had, but when we were away, I kind of forgot that we had that. Yeah. Um, nice and then when we came back, I was like, oh, it's really similar. But yeah. I did think when nice you were place. saying, you were like, we should paint our skirtings, color, like do something like that. And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, I literally. I just that. fully forgot that. Oh, I've done that in the room long before the hotel yeah. happened. So yeah, it was really lovely and I hope you enjoyed being here with us as well. And I know I say this all the time, but I really appreciate you being here and on my channel. We've obviously been filming videos for not a year. Long, yeah. Not that long, but yeah, a it's year. It's quite a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a dedication. I think we obviously upload twice a week and we have, like it's such a, like YouTube is one of my favourite parts of my yeah. job, but it is really a small part still. So you being here and following along means a lot. And we actually are approaching, we're like over 8,000 subscribers now, like getting mm. nearer towards 10, which is crazy. Feels like a big milestone. And feels like a really big milestone and is really exciting. And yeah, if you haven't already and you do enjoy our vlogs, I would love for you to subscribe because Mikey in particular works very hard editing all of the videos <laughs> now and we yeah try and bring things that we feel we like to watch so hopefully you guys do as well but sorry I don't know why I got a bit sorry pick up your there, phones but... <laughs> dial number eight <laughs> vote for us but yeah thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week thank you bye, bye. Ha <laughs> <laughs>